live tonight. Let's get the word out. We are live tonight. So what I'm going to ask you to do, while some of you are hitting that share button, I'm going to ask some other ones, those of you that have already hit that share button, put some in the chat. Put some in the chat. I see y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all. Let's let's keep the chat moving tonight. Thank you all so much. Thank you so, so, so much. Let's get into some church announcements and then we will get into tonight's lesson. Um, first announcement tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Uh, Dr. Roberta Washington will be our special guest tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for our prayer time. Somebody put in there, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. So we're asking you, um, if you've been getting on using the meeting ID, the, the, the meeting ID is correct. And now the passcode is capital P. A R Y, all caps. Make sure you put that in. It'll get you right to our prayer meeting. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Thank y'all so much. I I'm telling you, God is really, 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 really up to something. I see y'all hitting that share. I see y'all hitting it. I see y'all hitting it. Let's keep it going. Come on, y'all. I know more people are watching us than are sharing. So let's get the word out. Let's pray tonight, tomorrow night at 7 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you all so much for your continued prayer. Preparing for the cloud to lift is our series that we're in. And every Sunday we are coming with word um, to teach, to preach, to make sure everybody has a clear understanding of what the word of God is saying for us in this season. August the 28th, the day that we shall always remember, my birthday. We're going to have a marriage ceremony on August the 28th at 3 p.m. I'm asking everybody, please be there at 3 p.m. It is going to be some good church happening at 3 p.m. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. We're going to be meeting pastoral installation, marriage of two ministries, birthday celebration. We got a lot of stuff happening in one worship service, and we want to make sure that we're there on time in place where we're supposed to be. Thank you all so much. Remember, remember, please, everybody be there. You do not want to miss this mighty move of God. So that's what I have for you for church announcements. Tonight, God gave me a word, um, a text that I've preached many times, but God never really showed me the beginning of the text the way he showed it to me today. And um, and one of the things that I'm really learning and leaning on is trying to re hear the voice of God in a very clear, clear clear way where I know where it's, when it's God's voice that I'm hearing. So I, I, I want you to I want you to really open your hearts to this. Uh, we're talking about managing a ministry on the move, managing a ministry on the move. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, somebody put that in the comments on the move, on the move, uh, this cloud lifting. We're going to talk about preparing uh, for this thing to be on the move, on the move, managing a ministry on the move. Um, coming out of Mark 4, Mark 4 verses 36 and 37 says this, that day when evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. Verse 36 says this, leaving the crowd behind, they took, they took him along uh, just as he was in a boat. Watch this, there were also other boats with him. I want to talk, uh, teach, discuss tonight about this on the move. He says, let's go to the other side. And then the next thing he says is, watch this, leaving the crowd behind. I want to talk about on the move, on the move, on the move, a minist managing ministry on the move. Remember, you can sow at any time tonight. I'm believing God that you were going to partner with us tonight, but that's not, that's not the focus tonight. I want us to really catch this word. Uh, Managing a ministry on the move. Um, this is this is a, a weird uh, uh, place for for the text because uh, it's 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 a weird spot because what God is doing is he Jesus is teaching all day long. He teaches the parable about the sower and about where the seed goes and how it how it multiplies, and then he comes in and talks about a light a lampstand, and then. Uh, uh, he talks about there's a lamp 
put a, do you put it under a, 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 a bowl or a bed or do you set it on a stand? He talked about being the light. It, then he teaches another parable, talking about the parable of, of growing seed and how how you scatter seed. And then he talked about that that you must that that that, that, that the mustard seed. He 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 talked all. Day long. Mark 4 is Jesus teaching after teaching after teaching. And, and as leaders, as pastors, as 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 as, as guiders of, of shepherds of God's people, you 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 sometimes you pour yourself out so much. And then when night had come, when the, the time had come to, to wrap it up and go and figure this thing out, he says, you know, hey, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I cannot go any further, y'all. Let's go to the other side. Mark 4. Mark 4. I see you, Sister. The, 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 the text is Mark 4, 36, 37. Uh, Mark 4, verse 36, 37. It says, it said, let's go to the other side. And we always talk about this and we ignore this piece of text because we get into the inner storm rolls, a great storm. And, and he says, peace be still. But before you get to that, Let's talk about this ministry on the move. Let's talk about this ministry that's on the move. After a long day, he's tired. He's exhausted. He's he's worked. And, and that's most of the time when you realize who's really with you, people that are willing to be in this situation with you, people that are willing to struggle with you, people that are willing to go through with you. But, but, but he says this, watch this, is that when you are really tired, you really don't have the energy to deal with, to go through, to process most of the stuff that people want to put on you. And what I've realized is, is that when you're tired, it doesn't take much to irritate you. When you are, when you've already got a lot on your mind, it doesn't take much to bother you. It doesn't take much to deal. And Jesus does something that he very rarely does. He escapes the crowds. He does not deal with them. He does not push himself to be bothered with them. He, he leaves them behind and tells the disciples, let's go to the other side. Let's, let's, let's go. I, 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 I've been here long enough. I've done this. I've dealt with this thing long enough. And he says, I must go to the other side. And, and th that's where I want to, that's where I want to hang my hat and talk about these three things. And then I'm going to get out of y'all way tonight. The first thing I want to talk about tonight is in this, in this managing a ministry uh, on the move is something my grandfather taught me. It's ride with them who ride with you. Ride with who rides with for you. Ride with them. See that 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 is not what I typed in the screen. Ride with the people that rode for you. Y'all, y'all, I need y'all with me. Ride with the people that rode for you. What does that mean? This is this was a weird thing I saw in the text today. I've never really paid attention to it. It says, ride with the people that rode with you, rode for you. He says this. This is an amazing thing because not necessarily in the text, it's in the name that he calls them. Watch this. That day, when the evening came, after he had finished teaching, watch this, he said to his disciples, watch this, y'all. See, the problem is, is that some of us want a word from God that don't have relationship. Mm with God. And you cannot manage what God is doing because you keep trying to get him to talk with, for, to, and for you. But the struggle is, is that you have to learn to ride with the people that rode for you. Not, not watch this. I'm not saying when I use this, this road for you is not literally a get uh, going with them that went with you. What I'm literally saying is go with the people that's on your side. Those were his disciples. I need somebody with me. Those were his people. Those were the people that he dealt with. Watch this. The blessing in the text was not just Jesus speaking. Because most of this chapter is full of Jesus talk. Mm. But the, the blessing is in who he was speaking to. Most of us struggle because you keep hearing God talk. But the question is, is he talking to you? I need somebody with me tonight. He's talking to his disciples. 
I'm sick of this new age thought process that every word is for everybody. It was not. The, the, the woman with an issue of blood was not the only one sick in the room. That, that she got a word that was for her. He's talking to his disciples. Ooh, I hope I'm helping somebody today. The struggle that most of the believers that I'm seeing today have is, is that you have this mindset, this mode, this, 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 this foolishness that's in your mind, in your head, that you've convinced yourself that the people that are around you are for you. Woo! Watch this. When you are exhausted, when you've poured out, when you've, when you've spent everything that's in you, you should really start watching who, who you let talk to you in your ear. Because when you are exhausted, when you are at your end point, when you are at your breaking point, you cannot be weak. Mm. You cannot be, be transparent with everybody. Mm. I, I, I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. That, that, that the struggle for most believers is, is that you keep trying to, 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 to make associates friends. Mm. The problem is, is that the people that are, 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 have you, that you've let close to you have caused you issues and problems because you've let them in at a level they were never designed to be at. Watch this, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show it to you in the text because he's talking to the disciples. When evening come, he said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. Let us, not everybody else, not everybody that's around me, not everybody that had, had, had I've been talking to, because some words were good for me to speak to you, but it was not necessarily a word that you needed to stick with me. Mm. Because everybody that hears the word, everybody that you talk to is not rocking with you. I need y'all with me. He said, watch this. He said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Verse 36, leaving the crowd behind. That takes me to my second point. The first thing you got to do is you got to rock with them. You got, you got, to, you got to ride with the people that rode for you. You cannot go. See, why is this important? Let me, let me, let me, I want to make it clear because it's Bible study. That day when the evening come, he said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. Watch, leaving the crowd behind. They took him along. Watch this. Just as he was in the boat. They did not wait until he recovered. And everybody can't handle. Man, y'all need to hear me tonight. Everybody can't handle you in every stage of your life. Watch who you let in your corner because you're in need. Watch who you watch who you watch who you spill the beans to because you think that they have the answer to whatever you're going through. Watch who you let talk to you when you feel like they they got a word for you. But the truth of the matter is, sometimes you can hear the word and walk away and not be converted to a disciple. Man, I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. Because see, some of us are struggling because. Because you thought because you were in the crowd, you thought because they were in the crowd, then they were with you. Mm. But the problem is, is that they heard a word. They didn't get a word. And I hope I'm helping somebody tonight because everybody in your crowd. Man. OK. OK, let me go to my next one. First thing, you got to ride with them that rode for, rode for you. Second thing, watch this. You have to be willing to leave some people behind. I'm not making this up. It's in the text. The ministry, managing a ministry on the move. How do you manage? Watch this. How do you manage a ministry on the move? You have to be willing to leave some people behind. How do you know? Because Jesus did it. Verse 36 says it clearly. Leaving the crowd behind. Watch this. I'm going to bless somebody tonight. Because society in the Western world has taught us about circles. Everybody has talked about circles. I got to get my circle right. 
I, 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 if you ain't in my circle of you, my faith five. If you if you're not in my circle of people, I'm not stressing about. But what I've learned is that everybody in your circle, watch this, ain't in your corner. Mm. Everybody in your circle is not in your corner. We've taught people that separation is bad. We've explained to them that separation is, 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 is a bad thing. But sometimes separation, watch this, is a sign of growth. Woo! And an end of a thing that was always designed to come to an end. Come on, somebody. Yes, my two-year-old made to today can shop at children's place. Come here, somebody. But I have aged out of the store. I look crazy going in there looking for something for me. Well, I, they've been with me for all of these years and leaving them behind. Come here real quick because I need you to hear me because you, you you think that being saved is, 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 is being a part of what all of this is about. Let me help you. Let me help you understand. Don't vilify people. Watch this, y'all, that can't make the journey ahead with you because they didn't get the words you got. Y'all missed me, man. See, we vilify people that we left behind, but the problem is, is that the word we got wasn't for them. They were not anointed to get on the boat. See, 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 some people have, have, have beach uh, ministry uh, uh, faith. They, they have the faith to show up to heal a word. They have the faith to show up to know when Jesus is talking but they don't have the anointing to get, watch this, the inner word that said, let's go to the other side. And you are mad that people didn't come with you that were never invited. Oh, I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. You, you, you've been frustrated. You've been angry with people that didn't make the trip with you when the truth of the matter is they were never invited and leaving the crowd behind. Okay, can I, can I, can I, I hope I can walk into this thing deeper. The problem that some of us have is, is you can't move forward. Ooh, I'm, 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 I, I'm trying my best not to go there, but I got to, I got to go. Can I go there? Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay. The problem that some of us are having in this season is, is that, man, I hope I'm, Man, I hope I can go there tonight without hurting. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I got to say it, though. You think, you think getting on the water and leaving them behind is your struggle. But the truth of the matter is, there's a storm in your future. Oh, I need somebody to help me tonight. You so busy. I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. You so busy focusing on the people that you left. Watch this. And one verse later, a storm is in your future. And you got caught off guard talking about why they didn't get what I got. I need somebody to help me tonight. Because you are so worried about being God, doing what God wants done, handling God's business, that you've turned into a mini God. Mm. And you're going to make them get it. When God says, I got me, I've, I've prepared you for this time. If I take them with you, dragging them with you, they're going to lose it. So when I'm saying managing a ministry on the move, everybody can't help grow a ministry. Some people are just designed to be part of the growth of a ministry. Man, I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. Well, that's my friend. And it can be your friend, but they're not a disciple. They're not locked in. Quit, ex ooh, 
I'm finna bless somebody. I'm finna free three people watching me tonight. Quit expecting, let me look straight into the camera. Quit expecting you from other people. Quit expecting you from other people. You keep trying to get people to be you. Treat you like you treat them. Talk to you how you talk to them. Think about you how you think of them. And God says, leave them behind. Because they can't handle the storm. Man, I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. I hope I'm, I'm, I'm blessing myself because you keep dragging people because you see something great in them. And you what you have to realize is it's not my job to be God of your situation. Leave them people behind. Woo. Man. Stop expecting you from them. Be willing to leave them. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. <laughs> Let us go over to the other side. Watch this. He's exhausted. He's leaving the crowd behind. He's separation. That's separation. Watch this. First thing, first thing you see is communication. I, 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 I hope I can help somebody tonight. First thing you see is communication. Second thing you see is separation. Oh, I hope I'm helping somebody. The third thing you see uh, took them along. They took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats. Communication, separation. Second thing, third thing you have to do. Let me get out of here. I got to, I got to be done. I got, to, I got to stop. You have to acknowledge the tagalongs. Watch this, y'all. There were also other boats with them. When you are real ministry on the move, when you're really doing God's work, there's always people that want to go with you. Watch this. It's only one Jesus. So there's only one boat has Jesus. So when the storm arises, that that that, that you, you, you have to acknowledge the people that tagged along with you because watch this. I need y'all to hear me because this is going to bless somebody because you thought I was telling you to throw away everybody. But some people, when you leave them to their own devices, you see God clearer because you see what real faith is. Because watch this. The people on the boat with Jesus were the people that heard Jesus say it. Watch this. The people that got in the other boat said, I don't want to lose him. Ooh, I need y'all with me tonight. I, I, I came to talk to two or three tag along people. I I came to bless two or three people that's tagging along in this situation to tell you, keep on coming. You, you didn't hear the word. You didn't understand the word. You didn't see it as clearly as other people saw it. But you said, I think God is in this thing. And I think I'm going to, how do you manage a ministry on the move? I don't have to hear the word. I can just see where the word of God is going. Because he, the same, if the dude that was preaching, if Jesus that was preaching was the same Jesus that got in that boat, where he goes, I go. I need somebody with me. He didn't have to invite me. He didn't have to tell me to come along. But I need two or three tags along people. I, I, I don't know what y'all doing over there, but I got to be a part of it. See, see, I need some people that are excited about some stuff that you, I just want to be. I, I want, I don't have to be in the main uh, article. Put me in the footnotes. I need some footnote people that are say, I just wanted to be a part of the journey. I, I didn't have to go along to get along. I didn't have to be with everybody. Everybody else, I, I just need two or three people to say, God, I didn't have to agree with the vision. I didn't have to hear the vision, but I see it coming to pass. And I'd rather be with you. Come on, man. Y'all don't make me go to boot scout. I'd rather be with you. I'd rather, if, if, if did he get on that boat? See, I, I didn't even hear my sanctified spirit. I can hear him asking, did, did, did that Jesus get in that boat? The dude that the guy that just finished preaching, where is he going? I'm going with the word. Because he had a I need somebody to say he had a word for me. He he had a word. And the same word he had, I needed that thing. 
I needed a word. I, I, I didn't understand how I got to where I am, but I needed a word. And when I got the word, I got in my boat because I'm a tag alone. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I don't know how far that storm is going. I, I you know, you know, I need somebody to say, you know, uh, stories told. Old preacher came home late one night from preaching out and his wife was packing up her stuff and she was packing up all of her clothes, packing up her house, packing up the stuff. And she threw her suitcase on her bed. He threw his suitcase on the bed. She threw some clothes in the suitcase. She threw, he threw some clothes in the suitcase. And she looked at him and said, where you going? Why are you packing your stuff? I'm mad. I'm sick of this. He said, well, I'm going wherever you're going. Because tag along people don't have to be invited. They not a respected person. They don't have an arrogance. He don't, don't have all of the stuff that you feel like you needed to hear a word from God. God, anyway, you bless me. See, I need some people. I understand that Thomas was mentioned because he he said, hey, Thomas went in the room after they uh, seen Jesus. And he said, unless I see it, I'm not going to believe it. I understand that there's some Thomases in the church. I understand that there's some people that have to see it for themselves, that have to understand it for themselves, have to have to see God move for themselves. But I need two or three people that's not a Thomas. I need some people that are the people that Jesus talked about. Blessed for them that believe and have not seen. I, I need some people that have come with the ministry on the move that you don't know exactly where we're going and how we're going. But you say, God, if you're in that with them, I'm in it with you. That's how you manage. That's how you do. That's how you maintain a real ministry on the move. Anyway, you bless me. Any word you give, any voice you communicate, anything that you see that I need. God, I thank you. I love you. I honor you. Thank you for who you are. God, I love you. You are the blessing of Abraham. God, you are, are, are the, 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 the song in my heart. I thank you for who you are and what you've done. Thank you that even in a season like now, you can move, you can shift, you can change. God, I thank you for your people. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing. God, thank you for delivering me from myself. Thank you for delivering me from struggling, trying to figure out why they didn't make it. God, thank you for, for making me understand that I can't expect me from anybody else. God, thank you that, that I've understood that there's a blessing in leaving the crowd behind and going with you. God, I'll go with you when nobody else is with you. I'll go with you when nobody else understands it. God, I'll go with you when nobody else seems to think it's cool or popular. If you speak, I'll move. If you, if you, if you manifest it, I'll make a way. God, thank you for everything that you've done, every door you've opened, every way you've made. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I love y'all. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for being here. I'm going to ask y'all to do this with me tonight. I'm going to ask, I do it every, every, y'all knew it was coming. Every Tuesday night, I ask you to sow with me. That's what I'm going to ask you to do tonight. I'm going to ask everybody to sow a seed with me tonight. Sow a seed tonight um, into our ministry. I see God is doing something. I, I really, I really believe that God is going to do something supernatural in and through this ministry. And I, I really want you all to be a part of it. I really do. So can y'all sow a seed tonight? A seed of $20. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to delay it. I'm not going to stick with it long. I'm just going to ask everybody. Somebody say la di da -di, and everybody. I'm asking everybody to sow a seed tonight of $20. $20 will be enough to get us to meeting budget tonight. So I'm going to ask everybody to do that for me. So I see tonight of $20. So I see it's right there on your screen. I'm going to ask you to do that for me tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all for everything that you've done, everything that you're doing for us. I want you all to be in agreement that God is up to something. Sunday, the 28th, I'm asking you all to meet me at the Crossing Community Church where we'll be having our our marriage ceremony. We we get married on that day. So please, y'all, I'm asking everybody to join me on that day. Can y'all can y'all sew with me? Can you sew with me? Can you sew with me tonight in agreement for what God is doing? I'm appreciating it, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I thank y'all for for partnering with me in this season and 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 trusting that I hear the voice of God and I, I I'm seeing it go off. I 
last week, I, I, y'all just blessed me something, something supernatural. Y'all, y'all, y'all blessed me in a way. And it wasn't just the number of, of givers and the amount given. Y'all blessed me because I feel like you believe that I hear the voice of God. And that blesses me because I want you to be blessed. So I'm asking everybody, these are the ways you can give. You can give via our cash app as well. I mean, our website, go to everythingvictory.org. Thank y'all so much. Also, Last last but not least, if you are in the Houston area, if you're in the Houston area, you're available this Thursday at 11 a.m. I was asked to do the lecture this Thursday at 11 a.m. for the Houston Metropolitan Baptist Ministers Conference. The uh, the speaker at, at, at will be the, that day, the Reverend Delwin uh, Benton of the Lions Unity Missionary Baptist Church. At, at 11 o'clock. They're going to start off at 11, y'all. I'm going up before him, so I'm asking everybody, please join us on that day. Uh, both of us, he just got installed uh, two weeks ago, and I'll be installed at the end of this month. Uh, please join me and Pastor Benton on this Thursday at 11 a.m. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I know that was a last-minute announcement. We did not announce it at church, but it just they just asked me today, and I told them that I really would. Um, I'd be appreciative to do it and I'd be happy to be there. So thank you all so much. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you all for everything that you do. Thank you for your seats you saw. Thank you. If you're tithing tonight, you can do that. Y'all know we don't wait until Sundays to give. We, we declare over that seed what's already been put in the ground. Y'all, I love you all. See you all next time. We're going out with a praise. God made it fit. Whatever. You know what? Not even going to go there tonight. I feel it's different in my, my spirit because we're talking about a ministry on the move. I've never been defeated. Let's go. I'm out of here. See y'all tomorrow night for prayer. Dr. Washington will be. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. 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 Never be